What's up, everybody? Dre back at it again with another video on Ground Branch because they just came out with another Intel report. This one is number 14, November news. Let's just go ahead and hop into it here. Another month, another Intel report. We're quickly approaching the release target for version 1033, the end of the year. As a result, this Intel number 14 will be the last one until the release so that we can fully focus on the update itself. Before we lock into release mode, let's get on with the dev news and showcases for this month. One welcome, one farewell. Yet another programmer has just been welcomed on board the ground branch team callum combs i think that's how you say his name who has previously worked on rising storm 2 vietnam alongside environmental artist will bullen is now among the ranks of blackfoot studios that doubles the amount of code guys from what we had just a couple of months ago to a total of four which should allow us to tackle more areas of development more efficiently happy to have you cal nice let's hope the ai updates come pretty soon a bittersweet goodbye to mixon oh no mix is leaving oh no we're sad to announce that longtime contributor mixon is leaving our team this november after a four-year tenure but his departure has a silver lining as he's leaving blackfoot studios to join none other than the major studio infinity ward a massive career move for mixon who became an intern for ground branch while still in university infinity ward wow they just had the most successful launch a few days ago in call of duty modern warfare 2 i think the studio just reached like 1 billion sales or something like that that's wild and one hell of a step up but anyways it's actually really good news for call of duty because i've never been a fan of like their gun sounds you know like i feel like they could be better and then adding mix it to the team oh he makes some really good gun sounds i don't know how ground branch is gonna you know top mixon's gun sounds because in my personal opinion mixon leaving creates one hell of a gap for ground branch at least that's what i think but i still wish him the best let's go ahead and move on here in these four years mixon has personally recorded and processed dozens of firearms and fully sound effects mixed countless library recordings created and implemented soundtracks and ambient effects for all maps directed voice acting composed our main menu theme and had an active voice in various areas of development. Hell, he even put together the version 1032 trailer. This is when you know a studio is tiny is when you have a lot of people doing a lot of things that they probably wouldn't do at a bigger studio. We couldn't be happier about his work in Ground Branch. Some of you may remember the pre-mixing days and how much his sounds added to the game. And we're very proud to have had some kind of role in giving him a little exposure boost into the AAA industry. Thank you for all the passion and talent you have put into the project, Mick. We wish you the best of luck out there. Audio goes on. Zach Reagan introduce the intel report number 11 is taking up mix sound designer and engineer mantle that's got to be a tough one right there because mixon's gun sounds i think are some of the best that i've heard every time that i shoot off a gun in ground branch i just love the sound of the gun sound so i don't know how they're going to top that but that also means that call of duty is going to have some really good gun sounds all right moving on to the next thing we got birds and blasts particles and visual effects continued to improve by charles with assistance from our programmer and the audio team a small but cool detail is the seagull bird flock which will add some life to certain maps oh cool there's no audio on this but uh there's gonna be like some seagulls and stuff just flying around i assume looks like they randomly spawn into i imagine they're gonna be next to one of the harbor maps or something at least that's what i assume all right but moving on to the next thing we got another video here bird flock all right where the seagulls at Off to the side here. We can even hear them. Cool. Oh, and they're actually running away. That's cool. I don't like how they like phase in and out though, but aside from that, it's pretty cool. Underneath the video, it says, It's a simple yet robust system that allows us to create bird flocks of various sizes and have them react to gunfire. Speaking of gunfire, muzzle effects are also getting a lot of love in this video. Charles showcases his system for muzzle flash to display different sets of sprites depending on the camera angle. Take a look. Okay, let's see here. Cool. Yeah, 
even put it in slow motion for us to see that's cool underneath this video it says what does that mean well for those who don't know particle effects are typically composed of 2d textures like flat picture painted on a cardboard cutout by always facing the camera you never get to see these flat textures from a different angle which would give away the fact that they have no actual depth with the system showcased in the video the side facing muzzle flashes that look longer automatically transition to face fronting muzzle flashes that look rounder based on the camera angle to give the illusion of a real world tridimensional effect I'm not sure if i said that right but cool the muzzle flash effects are being created in various sizes and shapes to both offer visual diversity and fit various weapons in game awesome charles has also set up an initial implementation for muzzle blast effects more specifically the dust rays from certain surfaces when hit by a shockwave created by proximity with a shooting gun okay we have a video for this let's take a look Cool. Underneath this video, it says, Lastly, for today's VFX showcase, the old funky looking door chunks created after the door breach is being replaced with an updated particle based effect. This effect is likely transitional, as in, it will make way for a better one later on, but quite a bit nicer than the silly door chunks currently in version 1032. All right, let's take a look at this particle effect door explosion. Yeah, 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 looks pretty good. Because the last one just straight up looked like triangle pieces on the floor. This one actually looks like broken wood. But moving on here, the next one we got is quality of life updates. We have already shown you some quality of life improvements on the server online side. See Intel report number 13, which we already saw in a previous video. If you want to take a look at that, I'll just have a link in the eye icon or description. But we're eager to streamline and improve the player experience in other areas too. This section is largely brought to you by the same guy making all of this cool stuff. Matt Fat Morrow Faro. He would probably say pretend and the emoji is a Maro. I don't quite understand, but I think this is also the guy that does the majority of the modding for Ground Branch at the moment. I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But anyways, the handling of custom item builds in the customization operator scene has been given some love. We know you love your custom builds, but browsing them can quickly become quite unwieldy. So we made a change whereby when you open the item browser, custom builds are initially stacked under the default item. Click on the stack and it will display all of your custom builds. Oh, and they have like a little gift right here that shows us off so he clicks on it and then he goes to this one and it shows the custom one i think my only issue with it is that it's the same size like it, it really should just be like maybe like a tiny little box that shows off the name of the build you know like i feel like it shouldn't be the same size as all these other guns kind of takes up the whole screen but that's just me so noticing post recording what is this is this like a uh leveling system for the rifles because there's like a rank on this number five and if you look at the svd down there there's a number one on there what is that what's that supposed to be it's interesting but uh moving on here underneath this give it says how big will your build stacks get moving on here we are also aware of the number of times you get pop-up dialogues and are asked to fill in item build names when editing your loadout we don't want this to get in the way of your tactical barbie <laughs> tm activities so we put in a new feature using the new mutator system your item builds are now given default names based on what you've put together cool kind of reminds me of the fallout 4 system where you keep adding attachments and it just keeps like adding this like the name of the attachment to the name of the gun and it just gets really long so your mk17 cqc with a suppressor and a specter dr scope is now given a default build name of say mk17 cqc sd specter dr yeah that's exactly like the fallout system i remember see some examples of the automatic build names in the gif above we just saw if you change the build enough that it gets a new name it gets saved with the new name if you don't change the build that much it just silently over writes the old build when you click save okay if you want to use your own name you can still do that and you can use the new save as new button if you want to pick a name if you want to save more build granular item build definitions you can choose one from the drop down menu there are currently five options for default build naming all subject to change and these are the naming i'm assuming disabled does not provide a default save name for your build requires manual text input from the player just item name suggests only the base item as build name item name plus key features for weapons this includes the name of the base item sites and whether it has a suppressor for vest platforms it lists all the pouch types more verbose for weapons this lists all of the above lights and lasers for vest platforms this specifies the amount for each pouch carried 
EG, JPC, three times pry, two X frag. Unique build name for all changes. Adds a unique build designator at the end of the more verbose suggestion in case you prefer every change to be saved as its own build. And those are all the options, it seems. Okay, there's quite a bit of stuff to unpack there. But overall, this should streamline the process of putting together a loadout, as well as give the lazier of us a better set of custom build names to work with. Don't like build names or abbreviation the game gives you? Write your own mutator to provide your naming scheme. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to names. Like, I just randomly type something and then just move on. Like, I kind of wish that it just didn't even do that. Like, it just saved once I go to the next screen. But that's just me. I'm sure a lot of people will name their stuff, which is probably a good idea. But I'm freaking kind of a dingus. But anyways. Longer mission timer and new intel retrieval feature. If you want your quality of life to be arguably reduced, then we also have that covered for you. Congratulations to the person who asked for this. You spoke and we listened. Now you can have your two-hour mission timer. Oh my god, thank you. Oh god, oh god, oh god. No, 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 no. No, oh, what the fuck, no. Oh. There are so many times when I get to about an hour and it just ends the game for me. I'm like, no. Up from the previous maximum of one hour. No, we will not raise that higher. <laughs> because you are already about as hardcore a ground branch player as we can frankly handle. And if you like the new terrorist hunt bum rush feature, you will love the new intel retrieval extraction mayhem feature. Final name TBD. Mindful that the extraction phase intel retrieval missions can sometimes be an anti-climax, usually due to eradicating all traces of tangles in your path, you will now have to be careful what you wish for. Upon successfully hacking the laptop, you will trigger a security alert that will send the AI to either hunt you down or to boost the presence at the extraction. We may have to tweak this a bit to be more sane, but in the meantime, prepare for extraction mayhem. This sounds like a really good idea, but I think my biggest issue with it is that there's probably like no cover at the extraction area. So I think if you're going to do this game mode, you should definitely have cover in that extraction area, you know, especially in maps like the compound map because those are like really open fields and there's like no cover where the um the smoke is the green smoke there should definitely be cover there to cover people that are trying to extract with you you know but that's just my thoughts on that moving on to the next thing here we got match system as a part of our server quality of life update we have now implemented a match system where specific criteria can be defined for the end of the match such as best of three for pvp or play until win two rounds for pve this can be set on server in the usual sort of way and also selected in host and also selected in the host game menu for your list and server and then we got a picture of this right here can do a bunch of stuff here i'm assuming time limited play first two best of continuous okay cool when the match criteria are met the server will automatically advance to the next map in the map list match type and round type limits can be specified in maps list permission so you can have custom match setups for different missions in the map list otherwise servers have predefined settings for pve co-op modes pvp modes and the new game mode type pvp ffa free for all which includes the deathmatch mode but there's more the match details can be viewed in the ready room on a new screen along with an interface for all players to vote on what the next map is going to be here's a prototype oh that's pretty cool dynamic and take search match best of three rounds and you can actually pick the different maps here too that is cool you can actually walk up to it and just click it voting takes place during the round whenever you want so there's no delay at the end of the round to hold a vote the runner-up map will be offered one more time in the next vote if no one votes the map just advances one by one as before okay cool all right moving on to the next thing we got depot overhaul nears completion will's overhaul of depot is nearly done with the tiers now being almost complete and we get a close look at the inside of this and wow this looks really cool look at this there's actual stuff inside the depot armaments and stuff guns i assume or missiles maybe who knows this is really cool it's gonna be an interesting map to play i can already tell underneath this is another picture and yeah we could see tanks i'm not sure what these are these kind of look like uh t60s or t90s one of the two t70s maybe i don't know those tanks kind of all look alike to me but they're definitely russian tanks i was never really a fan of you know the original depot i mean it was okay but it wasn't great i just really hope that it's optimized that's my biggest thing look it's got to be optimized let me go to the next picture we got this one right here this is the 
outskirts, I assume, of the same interior we just saw. Man, this map looks so good. All these maps are getting overhauls, and I love it. I love it. That's pretty much all the pictures there. You got two more right here at the bottom. This is that one bridge that we've seen, and man, there's even dark maps too. That's awesome. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We get another picture. Oh my god, there's even a spotlight right here. Oh man, this looks so cool. This really does. Look at the stars are out, and the tanks are all lit up, the ones that are just out here. Is this like an abandoned depot, I wonder? I guess there's really no lore to the game, you know, but if they ever do decide to add, like, some sort of gameplay or something, I wonder how, or a uh, campaign or something, I wonder how it would go, but this is awesome. I love it. Underneath this, it says audio and game modes continue to be tweaked for new structures, and we're very excited about getting this one out there for all you to play test. Yeah, again, my biggest problem with this map was just the optimization. Like, it was terrible. I just really hope there's good optimization in that map. But anyways, moving on. AI. As mentioned a few reports ago, AI is being hooked up with a new light detection system that should make night operations more satisfying. Things were not far along to showcase back then, but they are now. So here's a short clip to demo some level of sneaking during the night with the new white phosphorus GPNVG18 on, as well as the NPEC 15's IR illuminator, and then quickly flashing a visible white light at a patrolling AI to showcase the lighting detection. Ooh, hold on a second. Take a look at this bad boy. They don't actually like here they would have seen me by now so he has a flashlight on right now god this looks so cool I like the new MVGs. Okay, so he can't see you because there's no light. But then the moment that he turns it on, is he going to turn it on? You gonna turn on? I want to see him turn on. They shoot at him. Oh yeah, there we go. That looks so cool. And the lighting effects with that too, that's so awesome. AI still looks a little, uh, not that great because I just saw him like hit a car instead of walking around it. But you know, and while we're talking AI, here's a quick little door breach test that our new programmer Chris put together. Take a look, see. Open and clear. Is that an AI? Wait. Is this friendly AI? Oh, snap. That's actually friendly AI. It's interesting. Make entry, go there, maybe defend here, throw flashbang, call out, or I don't know. We actually see a helicopter in the background. Ooh. We're going to do uh, tactical insertions with the helicopter. That would be awesome. Underneath this video, it says, to make it perfectly clear, the video above is not version 1033 material, nor is any of it necessarily representative of the final feature. We just want to show that friendly AI is indeed being actively prototyped and worked on. Chris has also been at work with version 1033 AI to improve door and ladder navigation to prevent or at least reduce instances of bots grouping up and getting stuck with them. Yeah, that's been an issue like forever with this game. <laughs> AI not being able to climb ladders. Up next, we got ongoing asset updates. In parallel with more technical and player experience oriented improvements, older 3D assets continue to be updated to conform with newer models. One such as the MPX, which is receiving a full remake and currently sits at the low poly stage right before the texturing and it's showing this one off right here yo that looks pretty good not gonna lie i think there's a closer image of it the sig the sig sar I, i'm not sure how to say that but that looks pretty cool and we're actually getting another remake for that but uh yeah and that is a wrap for today's intel report as always thanks for staying in touch with development for ground branch don't forget this is the last intel report for version 1033 don't expect more dev blogs until we get the update out of the door have a great weekend and we'll see you soon and that 
pretty much does it for ground branch what are your guys thoughts this is definitely another banger update not gonna lie but man they're saying end of the year we're gonna wait like another month or so but it's gonna be a relatively big one and that kind of sucks that uh mixon is gone but i mean he, he you know he's going on to do bigger and better things you know that's a big shoes to fill right there because mixon has done a fantastic job with the gun sounds i i love the gun sounds that he's done for this game and uh it's gonna be tough for them to find someone else you know but who knows we'll see but that pretty much does it for ground branch what are your guys thoughts let me know in the comments below because i'm gonna get the heck up out of here if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like ground branch then be sure to like the video share the video comment down below if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on ground branch or any other game that i'd like to cover if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon hop on that join button that's underneath the video send a thank you in the comments and uh yeah to keep the channel running and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye